Hey new types, this is Spencer and I'm here to talk to you about an important issue. Fucking Japanese video game censorship. In the slew of recent censorship controversies, Star Ocean 5 producer Suichi Kobayashi told Destructoid that they were putting more clothes on their character for Western release because of fear of backlash and flack from Western audiences. I'm fucking done, guys. Game developers should not be afraid of criticism because a niche group of fucking pandering social justice warriors, white knight flamers, who consistently harass and criticize groups of people says it's wrong. A majority of their intellectual properties fans reside overseas, and as the consumer, we do not want to see story, gameplay, and artistic assets censored or modified. If you are an artist, story writer, game developer, whatever the fuck you are, you do not censor your story, your artistic vision that you've worked so hard for, because a few people say, but it's wrong. I can't even name off how many of these fucking stories I hear every day. It's time to unite. Last year, a petition circulated titled 1 Million Gamers Strong for Japanese Gaming. I encourage you to sign it. If you are a subscriber on this channel, I assume it's because you respect the artistic vision of Japanese game developers, manga artists, and animators. We need to make our voice loud and heard because this fucking matters. You need to listen to our demands and listen to what we are here to say. I want it to buy it in stores. I want it at Walmart. That's all I need it from. Demand number two is Arnita Sarcasimo is not in power anymore and the social studies warriors are removed from power and terminated on site. That's all for today. Let me know what I should tackle next. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, $5 PayPal donation, send us your death threats, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Oh my god, her breasts are too big.